Oh, welcome back. Um, just uh, stewed some apple up, the ones that we collected uh, during the late summer uh, made me uh, a little crumble and there's a couple of pots there uh, for work. So uh, while I've been doing that, poor old uh, Scarla has been licking his lips and he's saying Feed me. Want your lunch? Okay, let's go and sort it. Let's show them the um, slow feeder. So we didn't really know what a slow feeder was until uh, we researched it. So it's uh, good to share. And uh, we weigh his food out and he has certain set meals during the day. And we probably fill this three times in the next five minutes just so that uh, he doesn't uh, eat it too quickly because he does like his food, just like his dad. Be a good boy. Fetch. Good pad. So the idea is that they have to work for it, and uh, we've seen. Uh, a big difference from feeding him by hand because we were feeding him by hand he was going to slobber on the floor onto his ears and the hair on his ears was falling out just on the tips as you can see they do wobble about a bit and his ears are keeping up with his body which he's uh, growing uh, really well and uh, we believe we've got uh, into a, a nice shape but it's very difficult to know how much food to give him we're weighing him just making sure he's uh, putting weight on keeping his feeds the same then increasing it when his weight uh, decreases but uh, he is now uh, 19 weeks old So this is the first slow feeder that we bought and obviously while he was a puppy his tongue was never long enough to get into there so we had to get a smaller one but uh, it's definitely well worth it helps uh, prevent uh, bloat right no doubt you want to go outside now Well, at least when you're out and about, you can keep your hands warm during the winter months.
Skylar, sit. Wave goodbye. No, I ain't doing that, he says. See you next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now. <laughs>